also going to stock up on some other uh, necessities and stuff, man. Our supply of rice. We need to get some rice, hopefully. And always get beans. And rice, see, man. Especially the Cajun thing, man. You, uh, you can jumble eye anything, anything. man. <laughs>
that it? Yep. All right, so the cannon supplies are all up. We just found some cannon of pickling salt. Don't you want to buy a big bag of it? Oh, there's some cane sugar down there too. You want to get that chicken down there? TP. Oh, it's kids' birthday. Birds. Not too much. That's uh. Well, that's not for this, is it? Do you have four pack chunk two and a two for seven? So that's okay. less than a buck a can. How much is that for a four pack? That's what I'm talking about. That's how much I pay at Walmart. Oh, $2.96? $3. So I pay $6 for this. Oh, and you got some of that ordered? Well, not yet, no. So you gotta watch that, man. Mm -hmm. We got lots of that at Boom, it's in the cart. Yeah, man. Did you see the deal on the chili over there? Is that that good of a deal? Um, It's an okay deal, but I got it. Nuts. Amazing. There's a lot of nuts. Ten bucks. My dad. Sixty nine cents, man. No, not a bad. These mm -hmm. dro dropped. We're paying what? Five bucks? We're paying uh, $5.99. Now they're $7.19. All of these are $5.99. Mm -hmm. Alright, man. So we got uh, rice. About five bucks too much for that, but that's another we are needing that. This one here is $21.49. This one for 25. Oh, here's some longer. Oh, here's some. Uh, I don't know, it's not nonsense. And the beans. Instead of buying the big bag of beans here, it's 20 pounds for 18.49, which is a pretty smoking deal. We went ahead and paid more and mixed and matched. We still got the 20 bucks worth. So 10 bags. Left. And then we also have some of those bags in the barrels. What are you doing over there, Miss Kitty? I was counting. <laughs> I am just doing a rotation of food stores. Anytime you store food, you want to rotate to make sure that the newest stuff is on bottom. What is that? What is this? Yes. This is a big wooden trunk. But we also, and as you can see, man, we're in the middle. We're going through all these books. The goal for today is to have this area cleared out because I've got to insulate these walls. I don't think you can see me over there. Uh, I don't think so because you got to. And then, uh, yesterday, um, uh, as far as the meat, you know, we said when we were leaving that we were doing a meat run, and it didn't turn out 
A hundred percent. Well, not even. Yeah. yeah, it didn't turn out good, really. As far as getting a meat supply did not turn out good. The only, um, the only thing that we really, you know, what you hear and stuff, man, everybody's talking about chicken and pork being, yeah. um, didn't see hard that. to get stuff out. I don't know if it is in the east. I don't know if it is anywhere. But we did end up getting thighs for 99 cents a pound for chicken thighs mm -hmm. so dark meat. The thighs are actually our favorite part of the chicken. Yep. And they were 99 cents a pound and I think I got 10, 10, fly, or yes. 10 family packs yes. you know, yes. of it is what we ended up getting yesterday. So that really that's the only uh, smoking deal smoke and deal that we got yesterday um that hamburger that you seen me get i think it ended up coming under three bucks a pound yes. it's all pattied up but uh which is good for which is hamburgers. great for throwing it on man you know on our outdoor grill and stuff like that and for hamburgers but um you know if you want to do tacos dude to pull the little papers off you know and do it up in a pan at that price because the bigger pack of Bulk mm -hmm. was three fifty a pack. Right. So we ended up, you know, right. man, we're always about saving money and everything. Yeah. And then the other part that you seen in oh, the first aid kit that we can use. That can go. It, the it's other. empty. There's nothing. Right, there. but we can use that. Just, yeah, that's why we can't start about that. I started Squirt. looking at all this junk. <laughs> and then the other. Uh, um, what was I talking about? Dude? I got totally had to look at all of this. Meat. Don't put me in front meat. of junk. Meat. Oh, I love when you say meat. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, now I'm really thrown off. Let's talk about meat, the hamburger. To pull all the pull the papers off, you know, no big deal. If we decided to do that, what else did we? That was man, really dude, the meat sale. Oh, and then you've seen us. That's what I was getting at. Is you've seen us or Miss Kitty? Um, let me see that. Miss Kitty. Uh, was, you know, looking at the prices, that was when we were in Bymart, and they had, it was like on the tuna, you know, and we ended up putting that in our cart. Yeah, that um, wasn't in Bymart, was it? The tuna was too for, oh, was it? it was two, four packs for seven bucks. Oh, okay. And then, you, and, you know, we don't, we order our stuff from Walmart because it's such a journey for us to go to Walmart. Right. I haven't been in a Walmart. We order, we buy stuff from Walmart. Walmart's not my favorite, but you can't beat the prices. Right. That's part of the dang problem. But, uh. We save over a buck on the tuna, so we put that in our cart and we'll order, you know, put together four, until we yeah, get the free shipping six, and then you know, we always right. like keeping tuna on hand. I do like the tuna in the pouches, pouches too, which we use a lot when we're on the fish fences. Mm -hmm. Um so man, we we check our prices, you know. I don't we don't watch a ton of videos. We were kind of listening to one guy this morning, you know, and he's running around to Kruger's and all that. Yeah. We don't even have a is that an eastern well, no that summer? Kroger's, that's Kroger's. actually Fred Meyer's. Oh, is it? Fred yeah. Meyer's? Yeah, and, and they, they Fred Meyer's. depending on which part of the country, whether they call it Fred Meyer's or they call oh, it Kroger's. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Fred yeah. Meyer's started in Portland, Oregon yeah. years ago. But anyway. Years ago. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. But, uh, yeah, we don't have all them stores, man. Our choice is very limited, man. We do our Bymart, Ridley's, mm -hmm. and Albertsons, man. That's mm -hmm. our ones. And then we do all of our buying on yeah. Walmart. We do that all online. Right. And a Fred Myers, dude. I ain't been, we ain't been in a Fred Myers in over ten years, bro. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Well, we used to go in there, man, because that was yeah. the only place we could really get the. Uh, oh, now everybody carries it, but the uh, our apple cider vinegar. Yeah. You had to yeah. Go to Fred I don't know if you noticed that they didn't carry the. Uh, yeah, dude, local. it's gone. Yeah, the local vinegar, and they didn't have uh, whatever brand that is. Brad. Brags. Mm -hmm. Yep, they didn't have that in there either yesterday. So that's something we've been ordering. Yeah, we ordered some. I may have talked about this before. We ordered some baking soda and some uh, vinegar. And Kitty was tracking it, dude. And they put the vinegar and the baking soda in the same box. And if you've <laughs> and never mixed baking soda and vinegar, go ahead and make yourself a cup of that. We, I actually eat that's great for indigestion. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yes. go ahead and mix some of that up, dude. It's almost like a little bomb. Yeah, the vinegar, too, was being shipped in yeah. glass. So, I mean, it was very <laughs> yeah, Very iffy. Iffy, iffy. But, yeah, yeah the post service had to shut down the whole... Uh... Yeah, <laughs> oh, my Lord! Here? What is it? <clears throat> but um, and then we ended up... Every time that we go down, um, we always pick up... You know, I don't... 
you know, I'm just really starting to open it up about, because I think this is great stuff to let out, because, dude, mm -hmm. prepare, man, because, you know, something's coming. But anyway, every time we go down, we always stop by the, um, our alcohol store or uh, liquor store mm -hmm. and tobacco store is the same down, down in Weezer. So and it, we always stop in there and pick up a fifth of vodka and tobacco, whether it be just a pouch mm -hmm. or whatever, because that's great trade material and stuff. I like to have mm -hmm. um, tobacco on hand. I've been known to puff yeah. on that once in a while. So. And we use the alcohol. The alcohol can be used for disinfectant tinctures. and yeah. for tinctures. Which we'll actually be doing a video on the hawthorn because the hawthorn berries are insane Beautiful. big, man. They're bigger than blueberries this year. Mm -hmm. They're Mm -hmm. crazy we've got i'm sure we've got quite a bit already we have the flowers yeah we have the flowers yeah uh, we use uh, the flag the on the, the tinctures and we'll get into that like i said later we'll do another you can look back on our videos there's lots of us making hawthorn man i use hawthorn for gout blood pressure it's great for your circulation your heart mm -hmm. cholesterol um, cholesterol yeah it's an amazing anything heart or yeah, blood amazing medicine. herb yes or berry and you can use yeah. the leaves the bark the Inside, the yeah, blossoms. the branch, the blossoms, the berries, everything. everything. We use all of them. And then the other ones, the Ustnia is our mm -hmm. other miracle drug that we make. And there is videos. You can look back on both of those. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. what are you smirking about? Oh, I just kind of got myself trapped over here in this corner. Okay. And I'm going to go back out to work. I kind of like it. All right, and then, so the tobacco. And then we also, uh, right in the next video, I'll show a few of the things that we... Scored. We, there was only one yard sell, so, man. It wasn't all that great, but I ended up hooking with, uh, hooking up with an air. I'll just show, show you right now. We're just in this video with this. But I ended up uh, at the one auction, or I mean auction, at the one junk yard sale with well, the one yard sale. Dude, I'm out of it, man. I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. Look at this, dude. This was pretty cool. I'd never seen this cast iron cookbook. I'd never, you know, you see lots of the Dutch oven, but I'd never seen just a cast iron cookbook. Obviously, Miss Kitty got a B, or, yeah, the B movie for the kids. A couple of pans, man, nice stainless, oops, nice stainless pan there. That was, that was all we got at the yard sales. There was three signs, followed all three of them, and as it turned out, two of them, let's get just here, two of them, uh, we're for Saturday. We're for today. You know, I ain't going back down there today. So there was only one yard sale yesterday. And it was all right, man. It, you know, a lot of high dollar, higher, higher price stuff. So then I hooked up with this, another junker guy to look at some stuff he had. And check out this axe or this hatchet I picked up, man. I have to clean it up. There's no markings that I can see. But, man, this thing is 100% quality. And it looks like the old Shrade. And look at that, man. That thing is nice. I got that. Picked up this old krill. Krill I'll probably keep for myself. And this is all, you know, the one I use for uh, mushroom hunting and stuff like that. You know, it's got a uh, pleather, you know, fake leather. But this is actually the real McCoy. So I'm going to condition this leather and stuff. And then I'll probably put the straps, strap on. I'll probably end up keeping that and using it. And then check out these, man. And this and that. More carving lights. Patches. Check out this little mother. Kind of dark in here, but it's a uh, it's called a Britannol, and it's a little candle lantern. Look at that thing, man! And it's got the little wick that wicks up. I've never seen one of these, man. No smell to it. Um, very flipping cool. I ended up getting that. A couple more okay, carbine lights. And these things, man, they jump all over the place, and it depends on what the brand is and what you got. But, uh, man, back in the day, any of these things, man, were worth 100 bucks a piece back in the, you know, before eBay. We used to do really well on those. You can still sell them, but you don't get anywhere near that kind of money. And then we also got these two patches one of them pennsylvania motor police motorcycle police that's a wool older patch and that, one. that was it man that was all the scores for the day but i'll end up doing good um did a little stocking up on supplies and stuff like that so 
I'm sure we'll be listed and it's supposed to be 100, close to 100 today, 102 tomorrow, 102 the next day. Uh, today I'm getting ready to bust butt on this because I want to get this cleared out so that I can insulate these walls and ceiling. And that's about the plan for today. And then I'll be enlisting some men. Make sure you check out our eBay store and t-shirts. And if you want those stickers, don't forget about them stickers. Um, I had quite a few people saying they wanted one of them stickers, but uh, only Mike has responded. I don't know if uh, he e emailed me. Best thing to do is email over at IdahoHillbilly at Yahoo.com for them stickers. That's $10 shipped. And those are the ones that uh, Idaho is what it is because you're not here. So, got a few of those. So, if you want one of them, man, make sure and drop us an email. And other than that, good Lord willing, and them creeks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.